Hello, welcome to New Vision TV. I am Rathina Sajay. Here are the stories making headlines across the country. We go to Kavali District where primary seven pupil at Kavali Universal Primary School in Kekubo near Bikoni Wadi. Kavali Municipality has died in a fire that gutted the school dormitory. The fire that some teachers said started as a result of a short circuit claimed the life of Adrini Arinda. She died of injuries she sustained from the fire on arrival at Kabale Regional Referral Hospital. The fire reportedly started at about 7.30 p.m. on Monday evening and gutted both the girls' dormitory and the administration block. It also destroyed furniture, people's bedding, clothes, documents and computers. They added that Arinda failed to run out of the burning dormitory because she was sick. The police fire brigade intervened but they ran out of water before they could contain the fire. Eli Mata, the Chigeze police spokesperson, said it is unfortunate that the fire claimed the life of a pupil. He says they call on schools to install fire extinguishers in order to contain such eventualities. Moving on to Hoima District, Bunyuru Kitara Kingdom is here to raise funds for the 24th coronation anniversary for King Solomon Gafa Busaiguru. The celebrations which are scheduled to take place on June 11th at the Karukiza Palace in Hoima are estimated to cost 554 million shillings. Andrew Kirunji Byakutaga, the Kingdom's Prime Minister, said only 60 million has been raised. By Sunday, reports indicated that most of the companies operating in Bunyoro sub-region were yet to make contributions towards the event. The Octag employed the subjects to contribute towards the success. The Mpango is the first ritual the Umukama performs as, it be, as he is being enthroned. The Fabsa, the 27th king under the Ababito clan, first performed the ritual on June 11th, 1994, following the restoration of kingdoms by the NRM government. Since then, the kingdom marks, its annual, marks it annually. Bunyoro Kingdom is comprised of the districts of Hoima, Masindi, Kawa, Chibale, Kagadi, Kakumiro, Bulisa, and Chidia Ndongo. The Kingdom expects to raise the money through contributions from corporate companies, personalities, and the central government and friends. Kingdom has organized pre empire activities, including a health camp, inter clan football competitions, a marathon, and culture exhibitions. The Mpango will be held under the theme transforming Bunyoro Kitara Kingdom. Before we continue looking at stories making headlines across the country, let us look at what is making headlines into the scope of the new vision. The headlining story today is vast admission, rules relaxed. Also in the new vision, fresh probe into Budu Junior School fire opens. And also 600 Ugandans for HIV vaccine trials. In education, children's views on persons with disabilities and extension uh, extension workers to get 25 billion shillings more that is in agriculture now moving on in more uh, on more stories making headlines into this copy of the new vision we have 600 ugandans for hiv vaccine trial the story is right here in detail and also parliament allocates extra 25 billion shillings for recruitment of extension workers more in the new vision land propping spotlight over six billion paid to landlords there are some of the stories you could expect in detail into this copy of the new vision. Government rushes to save Ben Chiwanuka estate. This was demolished on the weekend. We have the story here and what government intends to do when they do um, save the, st the estate. Uh, court rejects Kavafunza Chisko accused the plea bagging. It is also a story you should grab in detail into this copy. Uh, moving on to what uh, our pullout of Wednesday, which is the Mualimo, which offers education sol solutions. We have Sorority University, not ready, who says that. The story is right here. We also have Nabu Jere, takes Manto to read Environment of Plastics. Yesterday she was World Environment Day. And then we have the story here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, newspapers and education is also our Wednesday pullout, which is for the children, and it says plan for pupils with disabilities. This is what uh, we have. Uh, we have opinions from pupils here. 
giving us what they think about people with disabilities. Now, every Wednesday we have a free magazine. This free magazine is for the people, for all pupils and probably uh, children below the age of 15. It is called the Toto Magazine. The Toto Magazine has 50 years of French school and also it has reading series and also who people who the child who uh, the child the children yeah share their birth the way it is none other than the minister for trade and industry uh, melia chambade so get to know who shares their birthday with the minister and how they can be proud of that more pictures and more stories in the total magazine moving on to what's making headlines today we have URA ones of fair clearing agents. Those are stories you should expect in the total magazine. Ah, sorry, in your copy of the New Vision and from the sports docket, Vipers in. That is the headline. And AUUS pick 17 girls for WUNC. Get to know what those two uh, those two mean uh, in the from the sports docket. And Carter may it have a veto. CR7 in camp. Yeah, there's so many stories you can't grab from the sports decade. So grab your copy of the new vision at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are proudly the leading daily. Moving on to stories making headlines across the country. Let's go to Palisa District where supporters of Palisa District Kuman MP contestant Katharina Chola Ospelen on Monday empowered the police commanded by Edith Basalira and held a lorry at Palisa Market Grounds. Achola had just been nominated as a candidate for the Forum for Democratic Change ticket. Basalira pronounced the lorry illegal because the campaign program had not yet been submitted but to the police. Achola, who was, the, who was with FDC party president Patrick Camry at Oboy, however, drove to Palisman Market Grounds to address a rally after the district registrar declared her a duly nominated candidate. FDC leaders who addressed the rally included Stephen Ochola and former Serere MP Francis Gonahasa, the Kaweri MP Godfrey Ekanya, the former Toro uh, County MP, and Angeline Osege, the Soroti Woman MP. Ekanya said if people of Palisa want good services from the NRM government, they should vote for opposition MPs. Finally, from Bujili District, the prominent businessman in Bujili, John Francis Okecho, has been elected as the National Resistance Movement flag bearer for the, for the Bujili Municipality Parliamentary seat. Okecho got 2,496 votes against his closest rival, Haji Siraji Liavala. Liavala's 1,176 of the valid votes cast. Hamza Evuga, another contestant, garnered 328 votes. Final results were announced by the interim vice chairman. Electoral Commission joined Alimpo on Tuesday morning at midday 30. A half past midday, uh, amid cheers from supporters who had earlier jammed the old court hall premises at the Bujili district headquarters, Alimpa urged all NRM supporters, including losers in the rest, to rally behind the winner to ensure victory against opposition in the forthcoming polls. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.eug. I am Rafina Seje.